After months of heated debate, the Honolulu City Council passes a bill that would allow the removal of property left on city sidewalks. Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. The council voted 8-1 to one to approve the contentious measure. Councilman Romy Cachola cast the only no vote. And as KITV4's Jody Leong tells us, opponents of the bill let their voices be heard right after the vote. Opponents of the bill chanted immediately following the vote, upset and angry about the outcome. It's a really emotional and hard thing to deal with to sit through all of this. We're basically giving the police a right to, to take all that people have on the earth. Our goal with this bill was to make sure that everyone in our community is kept safe and has access to our public spaces. It was a lengthy public hearing where opponents of the measure were in the majority. This is a cruel, unusual punishment. It's a real travesty, these people that are just struggling to stay alive. And you're going to take away the last of their possessions. Opponents also express concern about the cost of clearing, hauling, and storing confiscated property. But city attorneys told the council the city intends to use resources from its current budget. Supporters of the bill also express concern about costs. Costs are already being borne by the public. The community has lost in terms of um, public access, public safety, and health issues, and lost businesses. In the end, council members sided with supporters of the bill, but Romy Cachola was the only council member who voted no. This Bill 54 doesn't go too far. We're just spending money like crazy. We're just driving the homeless to all over the place. At least one man went straight to the sidewalk fronting City Hall to express his feelings on the controversial vote. City officials say the bill will become law immediately after Mayor Peter Carlisle signs it, if he does. But the city must still give 30 days notice before taking any action. The mayor's office says the bill goes to city attorneys for review before Carlisle decides whether to sign it. Paula.